Insurance, insurance, insurance. Oh, and home ownership. That's the topic of my next video. If you're considering buying a house and you're confused with all the different type of insurances that might be required for this transaction, then you're in the right place. Hello everybody, my name is Mark Schreier and I'm a licensed real estate salesperson with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here in Syosset, Long Island. The topic of insurance is, can be confusing for people who are considering coming from a rental property and making this large investment, sometimes which seems very overwhelmed, uh, overwhelming. So hopefully this video will help relax you a little and let's break it down. First we have a home warranty versus home owner's insurance versus flood insurance. I'm gonna get into the three basic insurances that are out there, and one of them being a warranty, but I'll discuss in a little detail what that is all about. First, let's talk about the most popular one, homeowner's insurance. Every person buying a house, I highly suggest, if you're paying cash, you need to have homeowner's insurance attached to your property. If there's a fire, if there's some sort of other accident, uh, depending on the policy, whether it be water damage from an overflowing sewer, whether it be um, other damage from wind or a hurricane, again, depending on your policy, so make sure you check with your insurance professional on that, it would be covered. Otherwise, you're paying out of pocket and it can be thousands and thousands of dollars. Out here on Long Island, I would say the average price of a house, uh, I'm in the Northeast in um, Plainview, Syosset, Jericho, uh, the starting price could be close to $500,000 for a house. So if you're paying that amount of money and you don't have insurance because you said, I'm paying cash on the property, so I don't need insurance, then I would say you're wrong. Peace of mind, protect your investment. Uh, you put money in a bank, it's FDIC insured. You put money in real estate, you need to have it insured somehow. If you're buying with a mortgage, the bank won't give you a mortgage unless you have the correct amount of homeowner's insurance. So make sure that you shop around, and yes, you can shop around. There's plenty of competitive uh, mortgage brokers out there will, that will help you with that um, with the shopping and make sure you know what you're getting when you buy that policy. We interrupt my video for a special housekeeping announcement. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Please remember to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. The name of the channel is Real Estate 101, everything you need to know about buying and selling residential real estate. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you weren't too thrilled, shh, don't tell anybody. Also, please remember to leave comments in the comment section below. I include in those comments uh, things you liked about this video. Also include topics that you'd like me to discuss in future videos. I'm trying to make a platform here of things that I wish I knew before I bought my first house. Now back to our video. And let's talk about the next one. I said home warranty versus homeowner's insurance. A home warranty covers things like appliances in your house from breakdown. Because if you buy a house, if let's say you buy a 50 year old property, you're gonna have a washing machine, a dryer, microwave, your furnace, your boiler, your central AC system, and those things can break down and they will not be covered by your homeowner's policy. If all of a sudden your central AC system that cost about $15,000, depending on your house, breaks down, you can't make a claim on your homeowner's insurance unless something caused it to break down and then you'd have to discuss that with your, your um, mortgage, I mean, excuse me, with your insurance broker and they will let you know whether that is something that is insured or not. But if you have a warranty on the particular appliance, in this case, I'm talking Central AC, through a third party insurance company, it could be a covered item. Now, there are other options to a, a home warranty that particular AC system could be covered from your utility company. I know I have a separate policy with my utility company that covers my boiler and my central AC system and I find it more cost effective. If you want to cover your microwave and other things, that is your choice, but definitely do your due diligence. I'm going to include a video that I made recently on whether or not buying a home warranty is a necessary um, thing for you to do. 
it's not mandated it is definitely an option if your house that you're looking to buy has a home warranty included in the price and or included in the sale of the house then you're getting it for free other than that if it comes with it why not take advantage of it last insurance i want to talk about is flood insurance now if you live on long island a lot of the properties uh, closer to the coast require flood insurance and that can be an expensive proposition i'm also going to include a link in the bottom to a video i made on whether or not i should buy a house in a flood zone it's a totally personal decision it could cost a little more because flood insurance can be pricey there's one tip i will give you make sure if you uh, your house mandates flood insurance that maybe the homeowner's policy or the homeowners that live in it now have a flood insurance policy that's transferable. That can save you a lot of money. Rather than buying a new policy, you take the policy that they currently have and you can transfer it over. And for people looking to resell, if you're in a flood zone and you paid off your mortgage, I would advise you to keep that flood insurance for not only peace of mind, but also when you go to sell your property, if it is transferable, you now have one up uh, that somebody in your area in the flood zone might not have flood insurance. And then the new homeowners coming in shopping around are going to find out that they have to pay a lot more money for this house. Let's say it's the same exact type of property in almost the same location. Your flood insurance is grandfathered into the new owners. Theirs is not. Which property would you consider buying first? This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and thanks again for watching. Hello, yes, I'm talking to you, the person that watched my video to the very end. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook. I am a licensed real estate agent in New York State, but I also have a referral service that deals nationwide. So if you're looking for to buy or sell a house, anywhere in the United States, please send me a text, contact me via phone, and I'll set you up with a local professional in your area. If you're in my vicinity, I'd be more than happy to help you out in any of your real estate transactions that you'd like. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and I'll talk to you soon.